I want to show you how easy it is to import data into CRM 2011 so you can get started with CRM. Let's take a look at it. I'm logged into CRM Online and what I want to do is I want to import accounts and contacts for those accounts. So I've got two spreadsheets that have the data that I want to import into CRM Online. So let's take a look at that. Here are my accounts. Now I'm going to import these accounts first and then I'm going to import the contacts on top of that. And what I'm going to use is the account name is going to be the key field that links the accounts with the contacts so that my contacts will all show up in the appropriate accounts. So let's take a look at the contacts. Right now I have no accounts in my system. So what I want to do is import those. So I'm going to go to import data. I'm going to look up my account list. Here it is. It uploaded properly to CRM Online. I'm going to hit Next and I'm going to use the default mapping tool. It's going to map to an account. So it's going to try to map everything that it can. There's some missing here. One thing I want to do is take out the primary contact because my contacts are not in there. So I'm going to move that to an unmapped and then also I need to look up the state here so I'll do that. So now I should be done. So I'm going to hit next. Now it's been imported. Now the system will take a little time to parse that data and then set the contacts up in my system. And here are all of my accounts. These are the accounts that I just imported. I can open them up, I'll take a look at the data that's in there. See there? So now let's go back and import the contacts. Let's go to contacts here, and I'll start the import process again. Again, I'll use the default mapping tool. It's going to map to contacts. It's going to try to map that, and there's a few missing here, so let's look those up. I don't need the full name, so I'm going to leave that. This is going to look up the parent customer, so we want that. We just imported those accounts. So I'll hit next. So now it's ready to go. You can always look at the process of your imports. If you go to your workplace area here and look at imports, and you can see that I've got some imports here. This one is the one we just did. I can refresh this page and see how it's doing. Right now it's parsing the data. It's then going to transform it and create those contacts. I can refresh it any time and see how it's doing. And now we can see that it's complete. So let's go back and look at the new contacts that we just imported. Here are all my contacts. I can just open up any one of these. And here's the contact information. And you can see that it's properly aligned to the parent customer. So it's pretty easy to import data into CRM 2011. In fact, you can import data into almost any object within CRM 2011. So if you just started with it, why don't you try importing that basic account and contact information. You'll see how easy it is.